a lion keeper came across an adult lion on his territory, which he had rescued when the lion was a cub. Although he and the lion had been very close, he still knew that the lion could cause him great harm. So when the lion lunged at him, he reflexively closed his eyes. The wildlife of Africa has always been fascinating, and Johannesburg, South Africa-born Kevin Richardson studied zoology in college, but then chose to drop out because of the repetitive nature of his courses. Although Richardson feared his dream of working with animals might never come true, fate always had its way. When Richardson was 23 years old, he found an opportunity to help out at the Lion Park near Johannesburg. There, he helped raise two lions named Tao and Napoleon. This soon turned into a part-time job, and Richardson soon became an expert in the study of lion behavior. More importantly, his study of the white lion world has gained high acclaim in the field. Richard observed 59 lions, and instead of following strict rules for observing these big cats in the wild, he observed their instincts. He even lived and ate with the lions in order to gain their trust. Despite his exposure to dozens of lions, none of them ever seriously harmed Richardson. As a result, his incredible relationship with this fierce animal has earned him the title of Lion Whisperer. Richardson's fearless attitude toward the big cats has gained him a huge following, while he also used his status as an environmentalist to highlight the plight that lions now find themselves in. Lions are now in decline, and Richardson believes that within 20 years they could disappear completely in the wild. Rescue is part of his job, and Richardson will rescue those animals in need. In 2003, they rescued two female cubs and named them Meg and Amy. The lion's mother abandoned them at birth and left them to fend for themselves in a ditch. Richard rescued them and became very close to them. In a video posted on YouTube in August 2017, he said, I have a history with Meg and Amy that goes back to when they were abandoned by their mother in the gutter at birth. But when Richardson saw Meg and Amy in cages like the rest of the lions, he felt so distressed that he decided to change the way the sanctuary operated so that the lions could get out of their enclosures and roam more freely. Richardson explained, I didn't like these lions in cages and I wanted to improve their quality of life, so I knew I had to do something, and one of those things was to take the lions out of their enclosures and let them walk with other animals in a wider area. So Richardson started taking the two lionesses out for walks to introduce them to the African plains. He said, that's how Meg and Amy started their new lives. They were very free, and when I took them out, they could do whatever they wanted to do. Watching Meg and Amy explore the natural world was a joy for Richardson. However, he soon noticed that the change in their surroundings would cause their personalities to begin to change as well. It wasn't long before the two big cats reverted to their typical hunting ways. Richardson put the video captured with his camera on YouTube for all those who cared the lions and explained, Meg and Amy's behavior showed that even captive lions hunted well, because something was ingrained in their genes. For Richardson, watching felines was an amazing thing. I was very excited to see what the lions were doing. It made me realize that there was a different way to deal with predators. But now, Meg and Amy's hunting instincts were aroused, which made them potentially more dangerous than even before. This meant that as long as they were out and about, Richard had to keep his head above water at all times. Because even if the lions didn't attack him now, it didn't mean they wouldn't later. Then one day, when Richardson was walking in the park, he suddenly heard a rustling sound from the other side of the river, and it was Meg who followed him through the reeds. Richardson stopped in his tracks when he saw the big cat, but it seemed the lioness had already decided on its next move. It slowly walked down the river bank, then it leapt into the air without warning and pounced toward Richardson. At that moment, Richardson had no idea what Meg was going to do to him. Its next reaction took Richardson by surprise. Meg jumped into the water, then wrapped its two huge paws around Richardson's shoulders. In the arms of its rescuer, it finally overcame its fear of water. Because when it was a cub, its mother had left it in the gutter. Richardson later said, I think it was just amazing, this lion really trusted me. Now Richardson and Meg go swimming together regularly. Richardson said, I find Meg's love of water now very interesting, 
considering what happened to it as it was a cub. When I call Meg to come swimming, I look at it and it looks at me. I know that's trust. Seeing the changes in Meg and Amy, Richardson felt that what was happening to them was starting to make more sense. I'm convinced that if I hadn't gotten them back, they would have gone into the lion hunting market. He said. In the back of my mind, especially in the place they were in at the time, they would have taken a bullet for sure. Although Richardson saved them, they returned more to Richardson. Richardson explained, Meg and Amy are like my soul mates, and like humans, you meet many people in your life, but very few people you can give your whole heart to. Thank you.